I am going to explain about atoms, models. So right here we got two of them. One is Ball's model, which is the old-fashioned one. It's already outdated, but it is easy to explain for like the beginner that just start study chemistry because it gives us a simple idea of how electrons circulate around the nucleus. Right here we can see like a pathway that electron have moving around this path, but from Heisenberg uncertainty principle, now we know that it is not like that because we cannot really tell where the electron is and where it is going to be. So we come up with something called quantum mechanics model. And then I, I would like to explain how we have this kind of model right here that I drew it. It's because that Schrodinger's equation is the math, mathematical like probability where it's most where we most likely to find the electron. Then we can plot it like this, and then the area that close to the nucleus actually there is the region that we most likely like ninety five percent we gonna find electron, and then we call it orbitals. Okay, now I will try to explain about orbitals. So as my friend Wasu has said that a region where most likely an electron can be found is called an orbital. So actually, orbitals are just empty spaces uh, here. For example, if we imagine that inside this balloon is a nucleus, in the center of the balloon is a nucleus, we can imagine that the area that this sphere balloon is enclosing is an area where most likely an electron can be found. And this area is what we call by orbitals. And in this, in this example, this is an S orbital, a type of orbital where it is a spherical round shape. This is an S orbital. And then the next type of orbital is the P orbital. This is the P orbital. It's a dumbbell shape. And if we imagine that in the center of this uh, balloon over here, is the nucleus, we can imagine that this area, this two area, is an area where most likely an electron can be found. Uh, and this area is called the p orbital. And oh yeah, uh, we, we also know that in one orbital, there can only be two electrons take, uh, taking place. So in this much space, in, in, in the sphere inside, we can find that two electrons anywhere in here. Same thing also for the s orbital. And also about the p orbital, there is a three p orbitals and they are uh, three-dimensionally three structured like this, like this, and like that. So all in all, the p orbital can hold six electrons. And the next one is the d, d orbital. d orbital is more complex, so I just draw it here. It's uh, like a clover and it has four uh, spheres and this is one d orbital so two electrons can be found anywhere in the clover and the nucleus is in the center uh, and in the d orbital there are five orbitals so you can imagine the three, three dimensionally uh, structured d orbitals it's very complex so d orbitals can hold up to 10 electrons which is two electrons in each d orbital so yeah thank you very much now I'm going to explain both energy level and orbitals. So this is the notion of orbital. In my example, 1 is 2. 1 means the energy level or the shell, S means the shape or type of orbital, and 2 means the number of electrons in the orbital. So in my example, I'm going to explain about uh, 4 energy level. The first energy level always have uh, one uh, orbital, which is uh, S orbital, and it has two electrons in maximum. And for the second uh, energy level, there is one s orbital and three p orbitals. Because there, because there are three p orbitals, uh, p contains six electrons. So for the second energy level, there are eight electrons in maximum. And the next one is third energy level. We have one s orbital, 
three p orbitals and five d orbitals because there are five orbitals of d so d can hold until 10 electrons so the third energy level there are 18 electrons in maximum and the last one is the fourth energy level fourth energy level have one s orbital three p orbitals uh, five d orbitals and seven f orbitals seven f orbitals have 14 electrons in total so uh, in fourth energy level in the fourth energy level there are 32 electrons in maximum well some theories said that there are uh, higher energy orbitals than f but we're not going to talk it we are not going to talk about it until now so now it's only until orbital